Alright, hey guys, in this second Mac tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up um, VMware Fusion, or yeah, that's what it's called, VMware Fusion. Uh, basically, what it allows you to do is run Windows XP, Windows Vista, any OS while you're running Mac. So it's just basically going to open up a new window where it's going to have, like, I've got Windows XP installed. And yeah, so I'm going to show you how to set that up so that you can run like Windows programs while you're using Mac at the exact same time. So I've already got one set up, I'll just show you what it looks like. So it's starting up. Basically all it does is just it's like always running, but it always it just pauses it and closes the program. Then you start it back up, you don't have to start up Windows again. It's just there automatically. So this is still All here. Um, you can always take like screenshots of the desktop, or you can like go back to that screenshot, whatever. Settings, there's a whole bunch of stuff, and you can use Unity to basically not have this window for OS for like Windows or whatever. You can press it. So now every like program that I would open up inside, so I got like applications, I could open up uTorrent, and it would look like I have uTorrent open on Mac, right? but it's still running in the PC environment. So um, let me turn off Unity. And yeah, so that's that. Let me suspend this session. So basically what you do is download um, VMware Fusion, psrespective.net has it. So if you want to go in there, look in the PC downloads Mac section. It's under PC because they don't have enough stuff just for Mac. So um, go in there, find it, version 1.12 or something like that. That's what I've got. So just click new or download whichever one. So it's creating a new virtual machine. You just follow through all these steps, whichever operating operating system you're going to be using. Just set up. Um, sure. So you can change the disk size, how big you want the Partion to be on your hard drive, all that different stuff, and name the password for all the stuff that you want to do, and yeah. I don't have a product key, um, but yeah. So basically, you would just go through all this stuff, and all it would do as soon as you're done, uh, even if you had the ISO, like if you download an ISO file. And you had it on your desktop. The next step um, would be to locate that ISO file or go from the disk. And all it would do is just install it, basically right off your Mac right away. I don't have a Windows key. Can I just type in anything. Let's see if that will just do it. Okay. So I can start a virtual machine, install the operating now, or I can use the disk, or I can use an image file. So I could search for my image file that I have, like if I download Windows 7 or whatever, it'd be Windows 7 RC.iso, and I could just select it for off my desktop or wherever it was, and it would install it off that instead of burning it to a disk and then installing it from this one. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I need some more Mac tutorials. I was gonna do one on ScreenFlow, but there's no way to open ScreenFlow while you're recording. Um, I might do some Final Cut Pro tutorials, but that program is a lot more complicated than I thought it was. Um, Awaken, that's a pretty good program. That's how I get, a, get awake for college in the morning. So yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Just rambling on.